Okay, we got the Pac-Man G Fuel right in front of it. Whoa, That's perfect. Next level. Meta yeah, so there. I hear Steve in the background, so definitely gonna be a Steve here. I like and, the uh, like yeah, so Steve. Steve. Yeah. <laughs> Steve. Steve. Oh, and Sheik too, coming out from Void. So no Joker this time, but I mean, Sheik is a Sheik is a menace. I've been seeing. I don't know if you've been watching any of. Void streams, but mm -hmm. man, does he have some crazy combos. And it's all technical, too, right? You're oh, look, yeah. You're looking at it, and you're like, I mean, I guess you can do that, but you got to go to the next level on that controller. And already we're seeing some counterplay right there. Smash GI on the forward air uh, spike hitbox that allowed uh, that allowed Void to get behind Zerg. Zerg was not ready for that one, but you can, you can sometimes predict, and it makes it a lot easier to follow up if they're going to be doing that. But right now, no, no smash GI on that one, and it does get that four-piece combo. He had some pretty good mash out of the minecart, but he's going to need that throughout this match. Yeah. Uh, generally, the counterplay is just to not get hit. Yeah. And Void is well aware of that as a Sheik player. Not getting hit is your main goal, your main modus operandum. My main goal is to blow up and act like I don't know nobody. <laughs> Ooh, back to the ledge again. And okay, I'm not... I Really? So far, so good for Zerg, in my opinion. This is Void. This is him. This is Evo champion t stuff. Yeah, true. Um, yeah, Evo. Evo was here, so you know this is a uh, this is where Void has won entire tournaments before. Maybe not in this game, but definitely still has that style oh, yeah. and the drag down. Wow. Um, okay, but one thing I want to talk about right now is I I like to talk about especially on PS2 against Steve. Mm -hmm. There are phases of this game, and right now we are still in phase one. Steve does not have diamond. Does not have, uh, just not gotten rid of all the bad blocks, and and Ooh. is dead, and is as dead. well. That's and that's really important. You want to be ahead against Steve when he is early in the game. I thought you were gonna say it's important to be alive. I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah, I mean, I hold mean, your oh, stocks. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> for sure, for sure. No, but like in this part of the game, now it gets a little bit harder. She has a very difficult time breaking stone blocks. So when Steve is able to back up and get some space. He can build up those walls, make it a little bit harder for you to come in. Draw L's, draw whatever he wants on the draw screen. Draw whatever he wants for sure. Yeah, right now it needs to be We Are Farmers, though, as he looking a little low on materials. Huge play there from Zerg, mm -hmm. just kind of catching him in his jump. Perfect timing. Yeah, unfortunate for Zerg, though, that he didn't get the uh, star KO as he gets a lot more time to mine, but... Still, What's, what is it? Uh, what is that? Escalator? It's a it's a ladder to the left and to the right. <laughs> Same thing, right? It's, it's one of those air uh, those those uh, things in the airport that take you to the yeah, baggage yeah, claim yeah, area. The, I was trying to think <laughs> of what those are called. But I I don't know. We got oh a little bit of offstage presence there from Void, but he's gonna back up back to that ledge. Yeah, once again, just good avoidance from Zerg, but mm. good confirms from Void. That floppy fish. Yep. Dropping right on top of him. Zerg's like, I don't need a ledge trap you. I got I got some farming to do. Mm. Bum, 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 we bum, bum, are bum. farmers. <laughs> but up smash here. Not going to get the kill just yet. Just more time for Zerg to mine, though. I like how he covers his own landing onto ledge there as well. Void uh, definitely getting into his bag. You don't see this move every, every day. Yep, and up throw maybe. Not quite enough. Sheik being the fast follower that she is. And we do see the... Oh, we see a lot of resources picked up right oh. now. The diamond is oh, here. Oh, I see it. And he's probably going to, yeah, he does diamond pick it off up. forever. Ooh, good reference. Ooh. But Void, once again, has not seemed to have some problems dealing with it, but okay, tries to come from below. A lot of times against Minecart, you want to attack from above because that's not where he has the armor. Um, but once again, Void, really good presence in this corner. We're going to have to see how much he can make of it because if you give Steve an inch, he will mine you for a mile. Yeah, I was going to say, I, I don't usually see the mats this low on a Steve. So it, it is nice to see that Void's at least looking at that point of view. But Diamond can start kind of taking its toll here. Good yep. shot, though. Void finds him right in the air, far off the stage. And that was a, that was a good way to get that win from Void at... It obviously could have started to snowball if the mine, uh, or you know, the mining and whatnot, yeah, continued. I, I think that was just a really textbook. If the mining and the crafting and the <laughs> yeah, <laughs> all of the Steve stuff. All the Steve. Yeah, but I really think this was just a textbook example of how to deal with Steve's mining. Like if you are able to be in their space, constantly being able to threaten their attacks with a burst range of your own, and just ledge trapping using his disadvantage against him. I think that was very, very well played. Only one big mistake, I would say, was getting caught out by that minecart from the corner. But sometimes that's going to happen when you're playing as aggressive as Void was. 
Yeah, and I caught out of the corner of my eyes people asking, is this Pools? I'm thinking the same thing. We got Void versus a Steve. Is this Pools? <laughs> no way. You know, it, the funny thing is if Void wins here, he plays another Steve. Quandale ding a ling a ling mm, that's, the, that's the GOAT at this point, right? Or no, are we still owning him with it? Uh, I mean, I think Onan is pretty pretty widely thought to be the best Steve in, in, in North America. Mm. But there is, uh, you know, there is Akala who has a little bit a little bit more to his name. I'm backing anybody named Ding a Ling a Bing Bong or whatever. <laughs> so <laughs> any anything with that many syllables you're in. Exactly. Yeah. Well, Quandale is the next opponent for the winner of this match. So we might see a Steve Ditto. We might see Void once again on this uh on this run through the Steve bracket. You can see him kind of LMFAOing just at what stages are being going on right now. So as you see the bands come out slowly, Steve is trying to find uh where the diamonds are. <laughs> yeah, I, I just want to say shout out to production with this beautiful Killing layout it. here. I mean, a lot of times, beautiful you know. Beautiful layout, beautiful stage layout. You guys don't even get to see the stage layout too much because I'm not on the wide cam like I should be, but. At are least you I'm, normally on the wide cam? Well, I like doing it for, uh, you know, a little bit. Yep. I like getting the pop-offs. That's like Ooh. really important to me, you know? The pop-offs are. But that's important. more of a Sunday thing. True, true. Oh man, the, the faux pop-off. For here is exactly. like in all of the videos, exactly. like oh man, yeah, I, I see it every time. And I'm all like, of God Vegas just it. tackles him. On yeah, stage. he just tackles him down. He like melts into a puddle. Goat moment. Yeah, absolutely. But I mean, this is this is the uh, day one of singles brackets, so we're still in some intense matches right now. The uh, Zerg, the Land King, uh, Land King Heart, right there. That's one of their locals, one of their sponsors in the area. Yep. So yeah, that's how you know it's Utah, baby. When you see that last king. Ooh, Land, Land King. Land yeah, King. yeah, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> no worries. That's another. That's another brand. Last True. King. There's Ooh. a lot. There's a lot of LKs. Uh, but right now it's. I'm I'm LK and what I'm seeing right yeah. now. <laughs> boom, boom. Right now it's all void. Right now. And Bump he is it up. Incredible. Okay. Oh, want to take you for a ride? And nice positioning there. Oh, and oh, the and pineapple. Some wind, some fury, some fire. Yeah, I think he might have gotten sucked sucked uh, off the uh, off the right direction there. Yeah, do you remember the 21st night of September? And and Void won't stop, man. Void's going to get you to the edge. He's going to put you where, in whatever situation he wants to. Obviously, getting the early stock on Steve is where you kind of feel uh, you like feel you can get even position. more aggressive. Yeah. You do see a lot of mats, but it's looking a little woody. Yeah, these are these are basically base mats. These are what you start with. Those are, that's, what, that's mostly what Zerg has right now. TNT. Um, and he has used the TNT, but oh, wow, unfortunately for him, going to explode him own self and now Void is off stage might have a chance oh, oh try to set up a little bit of a block wall a little bit too up. far yeah so you could definitely see the nerves coming out of Zerg yeah I mean once again gonna try to set up some ledge trapping but no Ott's just a mine is like okay I don't really feel like uh trying to trying to edge guard you because I've been so unsuccessful in the past but what I can be successful with is mining and potentially well, getting up a diamond for the little, next stock a little baby L yep <laughs> Uh, taking a little baby all as well as Zerg. Okay, still mining, still crafting. Yep, and does jump out of that minecart, so isn't gonna get the strong hitbox enough to kill Void. Skirt! We oh wow, what a skirt! <laughs> what 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 movement? Oh, there? it's fast and furious, but I think he's back. He yeah. is. Void is nasty, man. Yeah, good weight there, and Void is gonna get another kill, putting him up at two. Three stocks to one right now. Did he hear the memo that it is 3-0 City on this pool? And is he going to get this done? It looks like it's the start of something beautiful. Three stocks City might Needles. be coming back. We might be making a return to the city. I'm going, going back, back. Three oh, I, I thought you were going, I'm coming home, <laughs> coming home. <laughs> oh, well, either way. I, I will say, Void is using that bomb to, that down B bomb to his up. Best uses here. I do oh, not here's see a the lot things. of that. Oh, he loves this and the yes. read. Drop, drop, top, set up with the jab, jab, down tilt. Uh, that's cla that's classic boy. That right was there. absolutely drop top. <laughs> BM, I'm the man, girlfriend. Void handles business and takes him to the precipice straight up. That is how you get it done. And yeah, that I, is the three stock. I, three stock city. For anybody baby. wanting to see how you suffocate a Steve. This is a match to watch because it was really just a story of Void all the way in his face every time, every time he could be, and not overextending though. It's really easy to try to attack too aggressively and to seize buttons, but that time Void was able to choose his openings, choose his offense. Just the ability to get the win when 
the Steve has 